For 50 years, Crane Rental Corporation has been providing heavy hauling and lifting services throughout America. In 2011, Crane Rental was awarded and performed the heavy haul of a coal box with a weight of 319,000 pounds, measuring 150 feet long by 19 feet wide by 22 feet loaded transported height. The owner needed the new coal box for a state-of-the-art air separation facility under construction in Central Florida. The primary function of the new facility, to liquefy nitrogen, oxygen, and argon gas directly from the atmosphere. These gases are then sold to local area businesses. Fabricated in Japan, this coal box was delivered by a geared ocean-going vessel to a receiving port on the west coast of Florida. Upon arrival, the ship's cranes hoisted the coal box, placing it onto a Crane Rental Corporation 18-axle dual-lane THP Goldhofer trailer. Adding to the unique challenges of this particular move, a series of bridges along the hauling corridor. The bridge capacities were not adequate to support the coal box during transport by the 18 axles of dual-lane Goldhofer. Due to the design of the bridges, there was the possibility of the entire load of the coal box and the platform trailers charging one span, or worse, one set of columns at a time. The load needed to be spread out to cross those bridges, but spreading the loading conditions out was not ideal for the remainder of the haul. The Department of Transportation required the load to be distributed to the four corners of the coal box. Crane Rental Corporation developed a plan to meet and exceed the DOT requirements. The coal box would be transloaded from the initial hauling configuration of 18 lines of double-lane Goldhofer to four each six-axle Goldhofer trailers at each corner of the coal box. This configuration distributed the load and allowed the total weight of the coal box to be supported by multiple beams and columns throughout the bridge crossing. Wide flange beams were utilized at both ends for optimum support. These beams were strategically positioned to facilitate transferring the coal box as needed from 18 lines of dual-lane Goldhofer to four each modules of six-line self-propelled Goldhofer and back as required at the two challenging bridges. Metal stools were positioned to temporarily stage the coal box during the trailer reconfigurations. Before any traveling was done, a safety meeting was conducted with 64 people involved with the move. This included local and state police, utility companies, and crane rental employees. Before and after the crossing, the bridge was inspected by Richardson Engineering to ensure the safety and structural integrity of the bridge. Having the option of different ideal trailer configurations for different portions of the shipping corridor made this move unique. Using the four-corner, six-axle Goldhofer configuration, it would have been difficult to maneuver around corners. So after crossing each bridge, the coal box was again transloaded to the 18-line configuration to navigate the majority of roads and negotiate all the tight turns found along the route. The opportunity of the in-route Goldhofer configuration change posed another set of unique challenges for Crane Rental. Bridge number one had little real estate, as the shoulder offered about half the room necessary for the trailer reconfiguration. In addition, the road was a major thoroughfare that crossed over a Florida interstate highway. The Goldhofer configuration changes would have to occur in the roadway, which would mean completely blocking traffic at two extreme intersections. While the coal box actually crossed the bridge, the interstate highway was to be completely void of traffic below the bridge. Calculations performed per DOT specifications demonstrated the need for 12 minutes to cross the bridge. During these 12 minutes, entrances were blocked to the interstate highway and a rolling police roadblock prevented any traffic from passing under the bridge while the load was in transit. While the interstate highway was only closed for 12 minutes, the roadway was closed for a 24-hour window. The second bridge crossing was a different story. There was no real estate available on the shoulder of the roadway and closing the road for a 24-hour period was not an option. Crane Rental was permitted to perform the first swap at a nearby truck stop and to stage the pre-configured Goldhofer trailers for the swap back. When exiting the truck stop, the load needed to cross the median. Several plastic mats and some fast-working personnel were used to expedite the process of crossing the median. This portion of the move went like clockwork. After crossing the second bridge, Crane Rental had to consume a large section of the two-lane highway to configure the Goldhofer trailers back to an 18-line trailer. From start to finish, crossing the second bridge took three hours to complete. Again, several steps were needed to complete the process, and the steps had to occur in sequence due to real estate constraints. 
Metal stools were placed under the large wide flange so the Goldhofer trailer could lower itself and be removed from the coal box. The 18-line Goldhofer was moved into the center of the coal box. The prime mover was detached from the 18-line Goldhofer. A six-line self-propelled Goldhofer was inserted to remove the large I-beam. The prime mover was then repositioned back in front of the 18-line dual-lane Goldhofer. As the 18-line dual-lane Goldhofer was raised, the Goldhofer on the back end of the coal box was removed with a large I-beam. Due to the height of this load, several traffic lights and power and communication lines needed to be raised. The length and width of this load required that each intersection have an independent study to ensure that turns could be executed in a safe and timely fashion. Police were used to escort the entire route to slow and stop traffic as needed. Some commuters were disturbed by the slowdowns, while others were simply amazed at this engineering feat. During the journey, one turn was so sharp it required the use of a borrowed parking lot to complete the turn. Permission was granted by the owner and special provisions were made to protect the empty parking lot with matting. One final turn was needed at the job site. Two hydraulic trucks came in and lifted the coal box off the 18-line dual-lane Goldhofer onto stools. While on stools, the coal box was painted and utility catwalks were installed. Crane Rental Corporation was also contracted for the setting of the coal box. A Manitowoc 2250 with Maxer 2000 attachment crawler crane and a Grove GMK 7550 hydraulic truck crane were used to lift and tail the coal box. The job was executed with flawless perfection, no lost time, accidents, or property damage during the entire journey, maintaining Crane Rental Corporation's industry-low 6.9 EMR rating. Another successful operation from the ground up. This is Crane Rental Corporation. Heavy hauling, rigging, and cranes.